Hey guys, my name is Scoby and today we're going to be discussing BIOS files in RetroArch. I'm going to be showing you how to add them to the emulator, how to add multiple BIOS files. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is of course open up RetroArch and then we're going to be looking at where we can actually put our BIOS files. So in RetroArch what we need to do is click on the cogwheel on the bottom right. We're going to be scrolling down until we see directory and here at the very top we'll see system BIOS. So by default it's actually in RetroArch slash system and you can simply put all your BIOS files in here. So this is the default location for system BIOS files. However if you want to change this you can simply click on it here and select a new BIOS location. However for me it's totally fine so I don't need to change it. I will mention one thing it is recommended to keep all your system BIOS files on your internal storage rather than your external storage. So this is something to keep in mind. I believe it's okay to keep games on external storage, such as an SD card. However, it is recommended to keep BIOS files internally. So the next thing you might be asking is, what is a BIOS file? So some emulators require a BIOS file or an actual system file to be able to run. So what you're doing is actually replicating the system information or the actual system files and actually creating that into a BIOS that your emulator can then read to be able to run and understand the games it's trying to play. So your BIOS file is really just a system file for your emulator that kind of emulates how it would exactly on the console itself. So certain emulators require this, for example, a PS1. The next thing we're going to be discussing is extracting BIOS files into the correct format. So you can't have BIOS files in .zips, .rars, or .7zip files. So we're going to need another app to extract these files out. So an app that I recommend using and I use it all the time is ZArchiver. It's 100% free and you can find it on the Play Store. It's great for file compression, management, and extraction, and it's a good overall tool for your Android device. And then all you need to do is locate to where your actual BIOS files are. So in this case, I have an example of a BIOS file right here, which is in a .zip format. You will need to extract your BIOS files out of here, and that's where we use the archiver. So in this case, what I'm gonna be doing is copying this file. I can simply long press here, click copy, and now we're going to be locating to our RetroArch folder. So I have my RetroArch folder right here. And then by default, like I mentioned, we have the system folder here. And what I can do is simply come in here and then paste my file. And then I'm going to be extracting the BIOS files out of this .zip file. To extract your BIOS file, simply click on it once with the archiver. Click Extract here. And then your BIOS files are extracted here. From this point, you'll no longer need your .zip file, so you can delete that and remove it from here. And just like that, you've put BIOS files in here. In this case, I've also put an example folder here with some other BIOS files I have for Sega CD. You can also multi-select these files by clicking the three dots on the top right, clicking multi-select, selecting the files you want to copy, then pressing and holding, clicking copy again, then going back to the system folder and just pasting them in here. And it's as easy as that to put BIOS files in RetroArch. Now, I would be really careful with the naming structure for BIOS files. A lot of the BIOS files have a specific naming structure, so it's worth reading specifically for the core you're trying to use. For example, in Sega CD, you have to do BIOS underscore CD underscore E for Europe, J for Japan, etc. And you also have to do for PlayStation SCPH 5501.bin, and it needs to be named exactly like like that and it might vary from core to core so you really need to look up the documentation i can't show everything in today's videos there's hundreds of different cores and they all vary slightly depending on what you want to do so it's worth reading specific information and i'll try help out as much as i can in the comments down below so if you have specific questions on how bios files works or what you're trying to look for specifically for your core let me know and i'll try help out as much as i can and i'll leave as much links in the description down below for bios files that you can use but overall adding bios files to RetroArch is really easy and hopefully today's video helped clear that up Anyway, guys, that's how you use BIOS files and add them to your folder in RetroArch. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.